All right, Pisces, this is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. All right, subscriber requested. So let's see, Pisces dealing with a Sag. What messages do we have? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for Pisces dealing with the Sagittarius placement. So if you're a Pisces sun dealing with the Sag moon, this reading may resonate with you. If you're a, a Pisces north node dealing with a Sagittarius sun sign, this reading may resonate with you. All right, so let's see. We're going to be pulling four cards from the Rebel deck. This will be for the end of March going into April. So for the next 10 days, we have... Uh, whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the effing time. Okay, so if there's something that came to your mind that you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Now is not the time. Oh, money, money, money. You got to make it rain. I haven't seen this card in a hot minute. So some of you guys may be getting to the bag. Sagittarius may be getting to that bag. All right. Uh, you need a good effing cry. Uh, get the ugly cry on. Let that ish go. Your soul will thank you. So some of you guys or Sagittarius may need to go ahead and cry something out. Um, cleanse, you know, uh, crying is a form of purging, not a form of weakness. All right. So effing apologize. Seriously, just effing do it. So someone here may need to apologize for a situation or for something. Um, someone may be having a hard time. Swallowing their pride and apologizing, whether that's you or Sag, I don't know. So let's go to the Andromeda Skies Oracle. Sorry, gotta make a little more room here. Okay. So Andromeda Skies, get four messages for Pisces dealing with Sag for the next 10 days. Today is March 4th, by the way. Or er, not March 4th, March 24th, excuse me. I was kind of close. Okay. All right. So what do we got for Pisces dealing with the Sag? I don't know. Um, I feel like I can't give you what you need. So either you feel like you can't give Sag what they need or Sag feels like they can't give you what you need. Um, we have please forgive me. So someone may want your forgiveness, but someone may also need to apologize. Okay. I'm afraid of commitment. So maybe someone with this, I feel like I can't give you what you need. Maybe someone here wants commitment and someone may not be ready for commitment. Okay. And I think the world of you. So either you think the world of the Sagittarius or the Sagittarius thinks the world of you. Okay, bottom of the deck, I gave into temptation. Oh my. All right. So let's see. Somebody here may think, uh, like, think somebody is all that, the best thing since sliced bread. Um, and they may have gave into temptation with you, like knowing that you want a commitment, um, but they can't, you know, give you that at this time. Or I hope someone's not already committed. But either way, someone does need someone's forgiveness. Um, but in order to obtain someone's forgiveness, someone may need to apologize, okay? In, in a sincere way or you know sometimes I don't know have you guys ever had it when someone's like okay I'm sorry and it's like sorry isn't just like gonna fix the situation depending on whatever was done it's like no you don't need a million dollars and you know bouquet of flowers but it's about like showing empathy for the situation understanding what was actually done like not just I'm sorry it's like I'm sorry and maybe elaborating like what was done. And it's like having that heart to heart conversation of I did something because I felt this way. I didn't realize how I made you feel or something. It's like something that's a little bit more than just, I'm sorry. Right. Sometimes I'm sorry. Just doesn't cut it. All right. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So yeah, someone, you know, keep, keep in mind guys, the roles can be reversed. This could be something that Pisces did to Sag or uh, Sag may have done this to you, Pisces. I don't know. Okay. I feel you even though we are apart. So you guys could have some type of a connection here, soul connection. Even if you guys were intimate together, there could be like that energetic tie that, you know, maybe you guys hold. Um, I left you before you could leave me. So someone here may have insecurities um, or someone here just, you know, maybe they're not ready for commitment. So they left 
you know, because they knew that they couldn't give you what you needed. So instead of you leaving them, they left you. I hide behind material things. So whoever, either you hide behind material things or the Sagittarius hides behind material things. Bottom of the deck, we have, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Okay, so this could have been some type of a rebound situation. Maybe someone wasn't over an ex with this, I gave into temptation. Someone's not ready for commitment, but maybe they indulged, you know, at that point in time. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Moving on to the tarot. If those messages don't resonate, keep in mind that it doesn't mean that the rest of the tarot reading will not resonate with you. Pisces, I'll read you on this side. I'll read Sagittarius on this side. However, the rules can always be reversed. So flip it, switch it according to your situation. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Also, be sure to hit the like button if you guys like these readings. Share your support if you want to keep seeing them. Um, going through and doing all 12 signs. Um... And having, you know, people watch them and not hit the like button, it becomes draining. I don't have time to get other readings done that people actually enjoy. So, um, if you guys do want to see these readings more frequently, hit that like button so that I know. Okay? Alright, so let's see. First card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy, the ones dealing with the Sag for the next 10 days. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. Spirit, you already know how I roll. So you got the Nine of Swords reversed as your overall energy, Pisces. What is Sagittarius's overall energy, please? What is Sagittarius's overall energy when dealing with the Pisces? Knight of Wands. Okay, Pisces, so... Nine of Swords in the reverse. I will read it in the upright only because these cards in the description, they kind of explain the Nine of Swords both ways. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Anyways, it makes sense to me. So Nine of Swords, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights and refocus your thoughts. However, with this coming out in the reverse, this is you like letting go of fear, letting go of anxiety. I'm no longer going to stress off this. I ain't worried about this. I'm getting out of my head. I'm no longer losing sleep. I'm sleeping well. You know, it's like you kind of um, letting go of whatever, you know, like negative emotions you may have had in a situation. Sagittarius is overall energy, the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a very quick moving energy, can be impulsive sometimes, could be flighty, can be in and out. Um, someone who takes action does so very passionately, sometimes more than, excuse me, um, doesn't have staying power, okay, in the nicer sense. Okay, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events that require immediate action, trust your instincts, stay focused, and a passionate relationship. So going back to these oracles that I was just saying, this person may have rushed in very passionately and they may have left just as quickly, okay? But I don't see you really, like, holding this, uh, you know, the Nine of Swords. It's like, I don't see you, like, stressing off of this too much. Maybe you, I don't know. For some of you guys, I feel like you may have known that this was the case or you may have known that this was going to happen or this is just something that you've gotten over or you're not, like, letting it uh live rent free in your head anymore okay so let's see show me pisces emotions please what's in pisces emotions single card only please what is in pisces emotions when dealing with this sagittarius energy five of wands what is in sagittarius's emotions page of pentacles okay so pisces in your emotions you have the five of wands you may be feeling a little bit conflicted emotionally, but I don't feel like this is something that you're losing sleep over, okay? Um, five of Wands in your emotions. You may also, there could have been some drama, some arguments, some fights. Um, you know, Five of Wands can also talk about competing, competition. In your emotions, um, I don't know, this is kind of a tricky energy. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. So, you know, this person may have caused you some sense of drama, some sense of conflict. They may have put you in competition with someone else um, or just made you feel conflicted emotionally. Like, I don't know, but I don't feel like you're letting this situation take over or like stress you out, keep you up at night. 
um, overwhelm your thoughts, okay? You may have also, you know, emotionally, it's like you're standing up for yourself emotionally in a situation. Like maybe you're, um, I don't know, maybe you gave this person some, some type of like pushback. Or even if this person is trying to rush in towards you now or within the next 10 days, you may like give this person some pushback. Hmm. Anyways, page of pentacles in their emotions, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work, an excellent opportunity presents itself, happy news about career, promotions, scholarships, and awards, a new area of study. So with the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and their emotions, this person may want to come in in a friendly manner. This person may also want to come in and give you some type of a gift, send you some type of a message, something small, like, hey, let's go out for lunch. Or this could just be someone who's emotionally, they're focused on new opportunities in their life. The Page of Pentacles is kind of like a friendly energy. So maybe this person rushed in and rushed out. Um, or maybe they wanted to keep it, um, how do you say that? Like, um, like maybe they friend zoned, you know, there could be like a friend zoning energy. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. All right. Let's move on. Show me Pisces next move, please. The Queen of Pentacles. Money, money, money. Show me Saji's next move. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So your next move, Pisces, I feel like you're focused on your stability, your finances. And then they got the Queen of Cups. These roles could be reversed, too. Um, but anyways, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. The ability to make anything more beautiful. The love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. The love of art and beauty and a sensible approach. So you may be focused on... Um, oh my gosh, I don't know why I just got like yawny. I was not tired when I started. It's like noon where I am. Um... Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. So I feel like you guys are focused on your earthly things. Maybe, you know, with this high, I hide behind material things. Maybe you are, you know, focused on making your house nice, dressing nice, dressing up, looking good, taking care of your kids, you know, keeping, um, uh, how do you say it? <laughs> uh, you know, like getting your hair cut, doing your makeup, uh, keeping up on your wardrobe, like maybe some of you guys are focused on, I don't want to say appearance, like in a negative way, but, you know, earthly things. As for Sagittarius, the Queen of Cups, it's kind of funny because you got the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles. So this person, um, their next move. Hmm. All right. So Queen of Cups, loving, compassionate, psychic, self self-sacrificing and deep psychic insights caring for others but forgetting to care for yourself trust your intuition a deep love of family and friends and follow your heart so this person's next move they may be um i don't know this is really weird i'm gonna have to clarify those maybe this person is like wanting to express their emotions maybe wanting to say something to you because the Queen of Cups is, you know, compassionate, loving, and their next move. So I don't know if they're trying to move towards you and express their emotions. And, you know, again, with this Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, this person could be very passionate about you. Or maybe they, they could also be a little bit unreliable. The Page of Pentacles is an offer of, it's an opportunity that has the potential to grow. So... I'm almost getting somebody who wants to like propose something, but again, with the Knight of Wands, it's it's not a reliable energy, you know? But the Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles can be reliable. Mm, I have to let it out, guys. I don't know what the hell, because I was not tired. Maybe I need a snack. I don't know. I don't know, Pisces. 
Let's just keep going and see where this goes. Show me Pisces. Damn, Ten of Swords showing itself. Um, Pisces intentions. Let me set my intentions. But what is Pisces intentions here? You may also be feeling conflicted as to whether or not you want to like fight for a situation any longer. Like emotionally, you may be, I don't feel like you're letting this like consume your thoughts. I don't feel like you're losing sleep over it. But when it comes to like emotionally, you may be like, I don't know if I want to fight for this or you're feeling conflicted. Like, I don't know if this is worth fighting for anymore. Queen of Pentacles. So you just may be focused on your home. You may be someone who's very loyal, grounded, commit committal you know stable and this person may be wanting to like rush in this person could even be wanting to like impulsively take some type of action to come towards you and offer you something and express their emotions so let's see show me pisces intentions oi seven of cups i don't know if i like how that came out but your intentions, Seven of Cups, you may be looking at other options. Uh, Seven of Cups talks about making a choice. Stop procrastinating and overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and addictions. So your intentions here, Pisces, you may be... Um, you may be wanting to explore your options or you may be... Um, could be overanalyzing or even daydreaming. Uh, you could be a little bit confused or up in your head again with this five of wands in your emotions. It's like you could be a little bit conflicted emotionally. Five of cups or I mean seven of cups is about your emotions as well. So your intentions here, you may be like. This is giving me the energy of like maybe you don't know how you feel emotionally about the situation. Like I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but you're sure the fuck not going to let it like stress you out or overwhelm you or keep you up at night. I feel like you're just going to keep focusing on what, like, you, what, uh, Queen of Pentacles, like, what is of value to you? So whether that's your home, your pets, your car, your kids, your job, your, uh, your crafts, whatever it is, okay, your hobbies, your skills, um, show me Sagittarius's intentions. I feel like you may not know how you feel about this situation, but you're not going to let, you're not stressing off of it. You're not going to let it get to you. Show me Saggy's intentions. Renewal. Okay, so that's that is what it is. Um, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. So this person most definitely may be wanting to rush in and come in with some type of a small offer, maybe wanting to express express their emotions or even give you a gift that like says I love you. And I know that that sounds weird, but you know, whatever. It's Literally, the Page of Pentacles can be like a small token, a small gift, a, a date, um, a conversation, something monetary that holds some type of value and has the potential to grow. Okay, and with this Nine of Wands, this could just be their energy, Sagittarius, and them, you know, wanting to come rushing in passionately, wanting to, you know, the Nine of Wands can be impulsive too. Like someone who's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go for it, you know, and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna express how I feel to this Pisces. I want, I want to renew a situation. Okay, I've, I've gotten clarity on what it is that I desire. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, yeah. Oh, okay, so if you wanted a reconciliation with this person, Pisces, you may get it. Six of coins. Yeah, someone may be coming in to give to you, get generous with you. Get generous, get stupid. Go dum, dum, dum. <laughs> okay, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Let me get three more, and then we'll talk about it. Page of Wands, okay. Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, this person's returning for sure. Okay, that's what this is. And trans... Oh, shit! Wow! Oh my gosh, and Ace of Pentacles still on the bottom of the deck. This is a beautiful read. Okay, so Six of Coins. Let me see. Some of you guys, this may feel make you feel exhausted. Because I'm struggling over here. But not yawning, and I'm not tired. Okay, the good you do comes back to you. Unexpected inflow of abundance, barring wisely, paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others who are less fortunate. Six of Pentacles can talk about, you know, money coming in, money going out, equal reciprocity, 
paying off a debt, having enough to share your wealth with others. This can also be someone who's very gifted or, you know, someone who's very generous or somebody who's wanting to come in and be generous with you. The King of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Someone here is taking action in the Page of Wands as well. More fire energy. This person has a plan, has a plan to take action, do so very confidently, come in, um, very enthusiastic, creative, optimistic, impatient, news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar, do things that fuel your passions and finish what you start. The King of Wands is motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, taking a leadership role, stepping into the spotlight, public speaking, keeping your eyes on the bigger picture, communicate your vision and don't be sensitive to criticism. Whatever this is, it's like somebody is excited. They have a plan to come in and take some action and do so very confidently going after what it is that they're passionate about. And, um, they're excited about it. They're planning it. They want to come in and give to the situation, be generous, have some type of, you know, uh, Equal exchange, the Eight of Cups in the reverse. This is returning. I don't know if you walked away from this person. This person walked away from you. Um, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, and leaving home. So maybe somebody here walked away. Oftentimes when someone walks away from Eight Cups in search of their Nine of Cups, they often find that the grass isn't greener on the other side and they end up returning. Not always, but and we see this a lot, Okay. But the Eight of Cups reverse. This is somebody who's returning. Now, whether you walked away from this person, this person's wanting to come back to you or you're wanting to go back to them or um, they walked away from you and now they want to return or whatever, vice versa. To me, it looks like this person's coming. They're the one that wants a renewal. I feel like you may have, you the Nine of Swords, you may have been in your head very stressed out. You may have lost a lot of sleep over this situation at one point in time. But I feel like you've recovered from that Nine of Swords reverse. It's like you're no longer, you've gotten over like the mental part of the situation. So if this person is returning or even uh, if you're in communication with this person, because there could be communication here. If you're in communication with this person, you may be like, I don't even know if I want this anymore. I may be focused on my stability, my finances. And that's been coming out in my Pisces collective readings too. Anyways, last card, transformation, uh, Scorpio energy. So if this person is returning, their returning changed. Okay. They have created some type of change. They have gone through a spiritual transformation or you have a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Power, powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination and releasing old belief systems. So maybe somebody had some old belief systems, outdated thinking, and someone has released that. Somebody went through a major, you know, or they will within the next 10 days, go through some type of change, transformation, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual development here. And there will be a return. There will be communication. There will be action. I do feel like someone's coming in to be generous with you or you be generous with them. There is a lot of passion here, so um, yeah, with this Queen of Cups is their next move, uh, Pisces, this person's like, I'm going to Pisces, like this is their next move, <laughs> I'm going to you, Pisces, I want that love, I want, I, lo I want that love back, that, that. You know, the Queen of Cups is someone who's very self-sacrificing, very giving, very empathetic, nurturing, caring, kind. But you may be in this kind of like more grounded type of energy, like, you know, and your intentions here, you may be like, I don't know. I kind of want to look at other options. I don't know if I really want this. You may kind of like hold this person off or procrastinate a little bit when it comes to making a choice or a decision about a reconnection with this person. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I do feel like there is a new opportunity, a proposal something new that could transform in this situation. Again, you have transformation here. Renewal here. You know, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Like, hey, let's let's uh, shift uh, the energy of this dynamic. You know, I may have did this in the past. I may have been unsure. I may have done this. It may have been my fault. I may have blamed, blamed you. I may have ran off on you. I may have done this. I wasn't sure. Um, I could have been afraid of commitment. Please forgive me. Someone may need to apologize or there may be a conversation. And with this money, 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 you may be like, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I really want to explore this again, but I do feel like it could turn out to be something positive. So it's up to you. Everybody has free will. 
Okay, you know your story better than I do. If you guys want a personal reading, you guys can always reach out in the description box below. And also be sure to hit that like button. So let's see, this is just for the next 10 days, guys. Uh, can we get three romance angels for this reading? I, well, hmm. I don't see like the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups. This to me looks like a potential for growth. Somebody acknowledging that they have emotion for you and wanting a situation to change, transform, renew. Somebody definitely coming back. And I feel like the tables may have turned a little bit. Like you may be a little bit up in the air as to whether or not you want this. But this person, I feel like they know that they want this. Okay. So it's something that could turn into love. But it, this the energy needs to transform first. Which I see it's on on the way to doing that. Okay, so let's get three cards for Pisces and Sag. Good reading, guys. I mean, if that's what you want. If it's not, then just, you know, whatever. You got free will, do you? So let's see, three cards, please. Oh no, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so Spirit is telling you to pay attention to the red flags or telling Sag this. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. One more. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you romance. Um, I want to see what this pay attention to the red flags is. Why is this here? Pisces, with this five of wands and your emotions too, you may be fighting how you feel emotionally as well, like at battle or odds with yourself or like your own emotions. Like you may be nine of swords reverse. It's like you may be ready just to drop this and, and explore other options, you know? Um, anyways, show me pay attention to the red flags. Page of Cups, Four of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, oh my gosh. Is there anything hidden that Pisces needs to know? Because to me this looks like someone's coming in with an apology to heal a situation and wanting to like build a legacy, a foundation, a family, a home or something here. You may need to rest on this or like even search your inner child. Okay. I know that sounds weird, but like search your inner child, search your own emotions, sleep on this, think on this, rest, meditate, contemplate before taking any action. But again, I feel like it has the potential to grow. You may walk away from something that could be possibly good. Is this the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, it has the potential to grow with work and dedication. Okay, what, what, is there anything? I can't, you know, I don't see, I don't know why that came out. It came out with the whole stack of cards, so maybe it, it wasn't meant to come out. So I don't see nothing bad. Again, the Death card and the Transformation card both score, you know, same thing. Something here is changing. Something is transforming. Um, why is Death here? Or something had to die so that something could transform and change. Um, is what is changing here? There could have been a lack of authority or not authority, a lack of, um, uh, how do we say it? Like a lack of, um, what the freak is the word? Um. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Um, for one, there could have been a lack of communication that could be changing. For two, there could have been a lack of like, um, sorry. There could have been a lack of um, like, that energy of coming, like, um, what is the word? You guys are gonna like, blow me up in the comments about this, like a lack of, not authority, but like a lack of a, oh my gosh, what is the word? It's like a lack of a taking charge, like a lack of a movement, a lack of, oh my gosh, I give up. I'm not even, I don't even care. 
that's what's changing. Okay. So if there was like a lack of um, communication, a lack of somebody taking initiative or I'm getting closer, <laughs> taking like initiative to like change the situation, that's what's changing. Okay. I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it resonated. I hope it gave you clarity. If it did, let me know. Smash that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.